You have been buried with Christ in baptism, through which you also rose again by faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. Alleluia. Good afternoon and welcome to the Saturday of the fifth week of Easter, to our daily noon Mass live here from St. Mary's Priory in New Haven. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant, we pray, that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them may, by your guidance, attain the fullness of glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul reached also Derbe and Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted him to come along with him. On account of the Jews of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from city to city, they handed on to the people for observance the decisions reached by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. They traveled through the Phrygian and Galatian territory because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from preaching the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mysia, they tried to go into Babylon, and to, they tried to go into Bithynia. But the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So they crossed through Mysia and came down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we sought passage to Macedonia at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He made us, his we are. His people, the flock he tends. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is good. His kindness endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, realize that it hated me first. If you belonged to the world, the world would love its own. But because you do not belong to the world, and I have chosen you out of the world, the world hates you. Remember the word I spoke to you. No slave is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. And they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. (laughs) 
The world hates Jesus and hates his disciples, Jesus tells us, because they do not know the one who sent Jesus. That is, they do not know the Father. It's a recurring theme in God's, John's Gospel that Christ speaks of his relationship with the Father, how he and the Father are one. And his mission in the world is to make the Father better known, in order that, being better known, he might be more loved. It's one of the chief effects of original sin that mankind has lost the knowledge of God. The original friendship that Adam and Eve were created in with God, the state of sanctifying grace, was lost when they turned against him and they broke off that friendship through their sin. And each of us continues that broken relationship through the serious sins that we commit. But God is merciful and seeks to bring us back to himself. And he knows the only way to turn us away from sin is by revealing himself to us, revealing the life that he offers to us, the love of the Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The key distinguishing marks of Father and Son and Holy Spirit are their relationship to each other. The Father is Father completely and totally. The Son is Son, begotten of the Father before all ages, eternally. And the Holy Spirit is the fruit of their love. God wishes us to know that and to share in it. And so as we grow in that relationship, when we come to a greater knowledge of the Father by getting to know His Son, Jesus Christ, so also we become a sign of hope to the world. And as the world comes to know God through the lives, lives of His disciples, of His followers, through the love that they show one another, the world will also get to know God and will less and less persecute him and persecute his followers. And so we ask the Lord to let his life dwell in us, to let the Holy Spirit into our hearts, that he might transform us more and more into the image of his Son, so that we might be faithful to the Son and the Father above all else, regardless of what the world says or what the world thinks or what the world does to us, that in all things we may give witness to the love of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. <clears throat> accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, <clears throat> we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation. <clears throat> Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Dominic and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all the through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy <clears throat> that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Father, I pray for them, that they may be one in us, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. And now an act of spiritual communion for all of you to pray along with at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that, redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.